Gators, Burrs and Colts. to go for it my darling what if you would like to start no <laughs> what do you mean no <laughs> <laughs> if you would like to start the vlog no nah, let's just run if you would like to start the vlog yep sure would well go then well guys i'd like to start with this is kind of like going down memory lane back when we lived in louisiana and uh, we would ride all the time. There was a helmet law there, and uh, so we had to have lids on all the time, which I loathe anyway. But uh, I'll tell you what, some days riding in Louisiana, we felt like our a our brain was like eggs frying on pavement. Oh, but yeah, but, it's hot. Um, we went one day, and it was out. It was a particularly nice day, and we went down to uh, Bayou Tech, and it was just beautiful and we were uh, in celebration we kind of took a picture of us leaning against this fence uh, at the bayou so we had no sooner than gotten the picture that we wanted of us together by the bayou than no. this guy comes around the corner with this huge gun and is just like it points it right at us and we're like uh, yeah <laughs> and he goes have y'all seen anybody running around here? And we're like, no, no. <laughs> Not only that, we don't run either. <laughs> you know? no, we... And it's like, what the hell's going on? And he's like, well, y'all be careful because we've got an escapee out here that we're all trying to find. And uh, he, he took off down the other way and we looked across the bridge and there was like, God, this road's horrendous. everywhere <laughs> hunting down this guy. Um, come to find out they caught him later we... he was disguising himself <laughs> as a jogger by just jogging down the street to get away it is in his underwear. underwear it is underwear <laughs> I'm like how does somebody that is obviously that intelligent to gotta get away with jogging in their underwear in front of police how did he ever get out of jail anyway it's just yeah. beyond me I mean if you see somebody in your underwear you instantly think oh the jogger yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I can still picture oh well we'll yeah. forget that one there was flipping loads of cops weren't they yeah, yeah, it was unreal. <laughs> and um, another day we went out and we went uh, riding to uh, Weeks Island. That's where the Tabasco place is. And uh, we went to uh, the Tabasco factory and ran through it and got some Tabasco jam. And it was brilliant. Chocolate. Yeah, yeah. The Tabasco and chocolate. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was just going to say was, Tabasco oh. chocolate. Oh, my God. That it was, was so good. It was brilliant, weren't it? Yeah. You wouldn't think it would be, would you? Like hot chocolate. What's that about? Spicy chocolate, but it's really flipping good, isn't yeah. it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, If you never had it, try it. <laughs> <laughs> well, after Avery Island, we went to Weeks Island. Um, and we didn't even know where we were going. We were just riding, <coughs> and it said Weeks Island. And we turned down this beautiful scenic road, and it was uh, like uh, this is the worst smooth road ever. as silk blacktop and curvy and trees and lakes everywhere. And we thought, you know what? This is going to be a brilliant spot for a smoke break. So uh, we pulled up a ways, and uh, we hopped off the bike and lit our smokes. And we had no sooner lit our smokes <laughs> than we hear this thump, thump, thump. And we turn around. Like like the, when the dinosaur comes on Jurassic Park, that's what it sounded <laughs> like, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. And so we turn around and there's this uh, huge bear. A big and black bear. A, a black big bear. black bear, yeah. <laughs> And he was like looking so fast, it was unbelievable. But to look at him, it looked like he was like moving in slow motion, just boom. God, God, boom, it's windy. Boom. But he was flying. And I could not <laughs> believe we had seen that. I've never seen a bear in the wild. I didn't even know there were bears in Louisiana. 
it was, tell you the truth. It was about how far? About 10 feet from us. <laughs> and then we turned around and there was another, another big one, black yeah. bear 10 foot behind us. Gary's like, let's get out of here. And he jumps <laughs> on the bike I've never and he goes, on. you take a few pictures. <laughs> and I'm like, are you bloody mad? Which of course I already knew he was. But I, I never jumped on, on the bike, so bike fast. too, man, and I'm like, you know, like how you do a horse, you know, kicking him. I'm like, come on, let's Don't get the hell out of here. Just kicking me, what are you doing? Well, I was, I know they can't see my knees, but it just You're felt good to do it when I was talking about it. You scared so, the crap out of me, then. <laughs> so, we got the hockey puck out of there. I mean, I did have my camera, and I was like, shooting like crazy pictures, but I wasn't looking where I was shooting. I was just, you know, let's go, 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 go. We did end up with a picture of a... Of his bum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a blur of a big black butt. It looks like a dark bush. So, um, there ain't no point in showing that. <laughs> and, yeah. um, I can't remember the name of the place we went next. What was that name oh. of the place where we'd go in there and had the bridges it, for you to cross the swamps? It was a flipping humongous swamp. Uh, oh. oh, the cypress trees yeah. growing out of the swamp oh, it was with, like this, just huge, with the cobwebby huge. stuff coming down. Oh, yeah, it was a huge, huge swamp. We used to go there all the time, and I just cannot remember the name of the bloody place. Yeah, I can't either right now, but it, it was just gorgeous, and we loved riding there. And uh, there were signs up everywhere not to feed the gators. Yeah. And I'm like, well, <laughs> all right. And we happened to see one. And we were, you know, we had gotten off the bike and we were just kind of walking up and down the swamp. And uh, we saw that this gator was like following us. Alongside. <laughs> yeah. Just, if, if when we, we went, walked this way, the gator yeah. would swim that way. When we walked that Bye. way, the gator yeah. would swim that way. <laughs> and I'm like, how weird is that? And so then, um, we just stopped and I was going to take a picture of the gator and he swam up real close to the edge. And so I'm like, it was kind of steep right by the edge. Yeah. And so I'm like, Gary, hang on to the back of my bridges. She, I got wait, she took this picture with an ordinary little camera, not, yeah. a, not a zoom lens. <laughs> it wouldn't zoom in. So the picture I'll put up here. That's how close she was. This <laughs> pretty so, close. Yeah. Well, he was hanging onto my britches so I wouldn't fall in the bayou on top of the gator. But uh, I leaned in as far as I could and took his picture. And it wasn't until <laughs> after when we actually got the picture developed and we blew it up that you could see that his head was actually a lot bigger. A lot bigger. Than, and, it, and you could see his belly. It just went out. And I'm like, holy cow. Plus, we learned afterwards that uh, they could they push themselves off the bank with their tail and go like six to ten feet. Yeah, so we didn't do that again, did we? Yeah. <laughs> we didn't yeah. do that again. So anyway, he could have swallowed me whole. He, uh, there was a guy that pulled up next to us, didn't he, in a car, and uh, he said, I can see, I can see. I said, come close, you can see him. And he went, no, I'm not coming any closer than this. He was about 30 feet away, weren't he? Yeah. I was like, damn. <laughs> What a chicken. Yeah, what a chicken. <laughs> if I would have had a chicken, I could have fed that gator. Yeah, we're just stupid, aren't we? <laughs> and then so. uh, another time, though, now this one's kind of freaky. Uh, it really upset me because oh, yeah, yeah. we parked um, at this park on this huge lake. There are lakes there. You can just, they're miles. And uh, we loved going there too because almost everywhere you went in Louisiana was beautiful. Yeah. And um, except for some at Rhodes. Yeah. Oh, they got some potholy roads down there. Yeah. So we went and we were just parked there and we were watching like the eagles and the cranes and the butterflies and the flowers and the cypress trees. And we looked over to the right and right across this small where this the river came together smaller like there a, was a dad there was and a, a small boat it was dock it was like a dock docking bay. it was where you could take it was where you could drive your boat into the water what's it called a jetty uh, not a jetty a, a, you a know a ramp oh boat ramp boat ramp that's it it was a boat ramp and he and he's the, the small p-roll was on the side go on carry on i'm oh, sorry interrupted 
<laughs> I knew I should have brought the duct tape, y'all. So anyway. <laughs> so I'm just trying to have the best all the Shut up! There was this little pillow. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and a dad had just gotten out of it and left like this little two or Holy three year old boy. Crap, this wind. In the in the boat with the his life jacket on. And we looked to the left and we saw this huge gator. He was probably maybe 12 to 15 foot long. And he turned and watched that boat for a minute. And he just kind of slunk down, except for just his head was showing. And he started aiming just ever so slowly wow. and quietly <laughs> to, in a beeline for that boat. And so we hollered across the bank. We are like, dude, here comes the gator. And I pointed, and he saw it, and uh, he, he ran down there and uh, grabbed that kid out of the boat. Yep. And I swear you could see a look of disgust on that gator's face. He just turned, he just yeah, immediately it. just turned around and swam off. It's like, well, there goes my meal for the day. Flip, it was weird. But, I mean, that kid came so close. Yep. It was, it was flipping. It was a bit scary, that, actually. Well, that's all we've got, so I hope the, uh, the, uh, my, I hope your mics work this time. This will be, this is the second and the third time we've done it. Yeah, I do need my, uh, ear thing in my bobs adjusted Moving. just a bit, because I kind of, kind of hold my lid up to have them in the right spot. Oh, okay. But I this wasn't a great test ride for that. But yeah, we, we, this was just a test ride for the recording mic, that's all, so. <laughs> We just wanted to do that, and we, we've actually been waiting for ages because it was—it's just been mental, mental windy, and we, it's yeah. calmed down a lot now. So it's like we're riding here, and the next thing you know, we're riding over there. It's yeah. cool. Uh, so anyway, a big shout out to everybody in Louisiana. We have never been fed so good, loved so good, treated so good, and um, it was just a great place to be. Yep. Oh, before I go as well, I said to Oliver's Garage, I give him a quick shout. I'll get over to his channel and give him a, sh give him a look. Oliver's Garage, nice, nice guy. Uh, that's all about time we've got for today, kiddies. So we're going to say over and out, and uh, we'll leave you with uh, Miss Senator saying, Over and out. <laughs> Catch you later, guys. <laughs>